What is up everyone? I'm in my wild backyard right now and I'm gonna try another soapy sudsy experiment today. We're making soap in a Pringles can. After doing this, I'm reflecting on why anyone would want to do this. The only thing I can think of is if you don't care what it looks like and you don't make soap that often and you're trying to recycle, perfect, use a Pringles can. You're still gonna wanna line it with freezer paper. However, if you plan on making soap more often, you want it to be easier to handle and maybe a little bit more pretty and presentable, I would still recommend something like this. So we're gonna go into my kitchen right now and I will show you how I made this soap and then we're going to attempt getting it out of the tube. I'm just using my standard recipe today. I'll post all the details down below in case you would like to try this for yourself. I'm soaping at 99 degrees, so I'm going ahead and adding in my lye solution right now. I will say the favorite part of this entire project was just eating the Pringles out of the can so I could have a can to work with. I don't buy snacks that often, uh, so I hadn't had Pringles in quite a while, so <laughs> it was kind of fun eating some Pringles just so I could try this. And I'm going to call this soap Skinny Dippin'. I am going to totally stereotype hippies right now because hippies, somehow everybody says they love patchouli essential oil, and this is a blend of light patchouli and orange fivefold. So, and you know, in my head, oh, hippies like to skinny dip. I That's totally probably not true. <laughs> But I felt like it was an appropriate name for this, and I'm trying to make it a little bit swirly like a pond or something. I did end up making a little bit too much soap batter for this. That's why I have that blue round silicone mold on the side. I always have one of those on hand when I'm trying something new. You could do some math to figure out how much you would need for a volume on this, but I just figured, hey, if I have a little extra, no big deal. I'll just give a couple bars to my friend who loves it. And come to find out, the Pringles can actually needs about 32 ounces of soap batter, and I made closer to 40. So now you know. Since I'm doing an orange swirl with this for the orange essential oil, I wanted to put some orange peel and turmeric in that. So I sprinkled those in, and then for the grayish color, which represents patchouli, that was some indigo powder. Off camera, I had poured a little bit of the orange batter in the bottom before I realized I forgot to put the rest of the essential oils into the indigo portion. So in the end, it didn't come out perfectly evenly. And then I ended up using one of my metal straws to try to give this a nice swirl, but I don't know if I reached all the way down to the bottom on that. So we will see how this turns out. Here goes nothing. Not really sure if I should attempt to save the can or just destroy it. If so, I should probably go get some scissors. Oh my word, okay. Mm. I think in those reels that I've seen, they like remove the bottom. Okay, this is... Ah! Okay, we're making a little progress now. I did it without scissors. Oh look, it's just naturally unwinding in the shape of the tube. Can I pull it out? It's the day before 4th of July recording this and we live right by a trail, so lots of side-by-sides going past right now. Sorry about the noise. 
All right. Let's give this a slice and see how it turned out. Not really sure if I could sell these. I guess we'll see how they look on the inside. They're a little bit smaller than my standard bars. I'm guessing these will end up being like three ounces after being cut. I'll go ahead and make this like two and a half centimeters. But this is like one of my favorite scent combos. Hey, look at that. That's actually like 10 times better than I was expecting. Whoa. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I might be able to sell these. Otherwise, I was just going to use them myself. Or I have a friend that really loves orange patchouli. Okay, that's really addicting. <laughs> All right, let's try a few more. Woo! So far, pretty happy. The further down the tube I go, the less the straw was able to really get to it. And because the patchouli is a floral, it kind of thickened up a little bit. So yeah, you can see, I didn't really get a whole lot of that down at the bottom. Let me see how I want to do this. All right, so I, I didn't get enough of the indigo portion down at the bottom, but not bad. So. I guess if you're wanting to go for like a fun little swirl, a regular soap mold, maybe you couldn't attempt that, but if you want something round and swirly and fun, this might be worth a try. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today on this soapy adventure, and I will see you guys in the next one soon. If you want to uh, see more where I am experimenting with soap, I do have a lot of playlists on my channel. So I will link one of those right here, and you guys can go check that out next. Thank you.